Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be painting a simple mouse on blackberries in watercolours. I've got lots of blackberries at the moment growing in my garden. This reference photo is from Unsplash by Glenn Hooper and is a copyright free image. My name's Carol Manning and I work under the name Picara Arts. I usually paint UK wildlife and botanicals. I sometimes paint the wildlife on in its habitat or on white background. I'm starting the painting today by putting a yellow ochre wash all over the mouse to give it a background colour. I'm using Windsor and Newton Cotman colours for all of the paint on the mouse and the berries today. I'll leave a list of the paints I'm using in the description. I'm now adding in a diluted rose madder onto the tail. The tails of the little mice don't have any hair on them, or well, only just the odd one here and there. It's a bit like a worm in looks. And I'm also adding some diluted rose madder onto the feet, and I will at some stage in a bit add it onto the ears and the nose. I'm using some sap green on the leaves. I have included leaves in the picture, but I haven't really concentrated on the techniques I've used with the leaves, and so I haven't really filmed that part. But you'll see those develop as you go along. But as I'm using sap green on them, and if you're interested in the leaves as I go along, I've also used a Viridian Hue and Sap Green mixed together and Forest Green by Horrid and Schwinker for the leaves. But I am focusing on the berries and the mouse for this particular video. So I'm adding in still Sap Green in for the stalk and some of the little leaves, tiny leaves. And also a bit of yellow ochre because some of the leaves have got quite a bit of brown in them. The little stalks under them and leaves directly under the berries. They've probably got a specific name, but I'm putting a wash of sap green onto some parts of the berries, as you see from the reference photo. There's quite a lot of green on some of the berries that aren't that ripe, but the red ones. I'm not going to show you me painting every berry because it's pretty much the same. This is me putting a wash of rose madder over the red berries, or the red and green, overlapping very slightly with the green parts. And for this I'm using the darker berries, I'm using a mixture of indigo blue and rose madder. And for the darker parts I've mixed indigo and sepia for the very darker parts. I'm now adding in the eye of the mouse using lamp black. I'm using quite a small brush, it's a Pro Art 0.5, I think. And I'm just putting a slightly darker wash in the darker areas of the fur using a raw 
or umber paint, diluted or umber. line for the drawing is actually quite I've left quite strong normally I'd rub it out so it's only very very faint but for the purposes of yourselves watching the video so you can see where I'm what I'm working on I've left the pencil line untouched I'm now using slightly darker more concentrated wash of the rose matter. It's still, uh, still fairly diluted but slightly stronger than the first wash to add some colour into the berries. As I said I won't show you every single berry I paint because it's just repeating the same thing. I'm leaving a slight gap in the middle on some of them to leave a highlight. And I'm going round the edges of some of the berries as well to create the shadows that you will see in between the berries. The reference photo and the line drawing I've made from it are available at the end of this video if you wish to pause and screenshot. I'm back to doing a more concentrated version of the mix of purple lake and indigo this one is on the darker berries. As I was saying about the images available, they're available at the end of the video or otherwise you can get, join my Facebook page. I'd love to see some people on there. It's a new group so I've only just set it up and it would only be a closed group so only members would see your work if you wish to post images from the tutorials I've done or from work from the images I've put up. There will be PDFs on there available to download of the reference photo and the line drawing that I've made from it. I might also put a couple on photographs of berries on there as well, just to help. As I say, I've got tons of them in my garden at the moment, so I can do plenty of phot photography on them. Some of the berries I'm doing more concentrated and some more diluted to get a range of colours, shapes. say for the berries I'm using the purple lake and indigo I'm also using indigo and rose madder and for the very darker parts indigo and sepia which will certainly leave the berries behind as you can see from the size of my fingers this image is quite small, it's actually only just slightly smaller than A6, it's part of a bigger picture I'm in the process of painting. I'm now putting in some rose madder mixed with purple lake, get a 
slightly dark colour and again I'm going in between the outlines of the berries to give that darker shadow and going slightly into the greens as I said to get it to meld together and leave in highlights on the berries If you're enjoying this video, please like. I'd really appreciate it as it will help my YouTube channel grow as I'm only just starting out. I will be posting images most weeks, videos most weeks. It will be based around UK wildlife or botanicals and it will be usually be watercolour or I do occasionally use other media. As you can see, as I said with the, about the leaves, you will see those developing in the video, but I'm not concentrating on the painting of those. I'm just putting a, going over with a bit of water over the mouse just to blend together some of the paint lines, the tide marks. I'm now starting on doing the little fur lines. I'm using yellow ochre to start with. Normally I will do a few layers of hairs, fur lines going on the animals that I paint. Make sure you're looking closely at the reference photo to see the direction the fur goes in and overlap slightly because that gives a more natural look and obviously take it out into the over the edge of the outline. This obviously speeded up a bit. I don't normally paint each stroke quite this fast. And as I said, this is quite a small image. It's only just slightly smaller than A6, so it's probably not far off the size that the blackberries and mouse actually would be in real life. Just adding in the second eye, that's actually not very visible in the photograph, but um, yeah, that needed adding in. Just going around the outlines of the is just to accentuate them a bit and darkening down the leaves a bit. Actually using a mix of yellow ochre and sap green at this point to give the green effect. I'm now on my next layer of fur lines using burnt umber. Just rubbing out the pencil line from the chin because it's standing out a bit too much and putting in 
some diluted sepia to give the grey to the white around the face. And add in a bit more pink into the foot. Now I'm putting the little lines across the tail. As I said, it, they look a bit like a worm, so it's got the little lines going along the tail. Put in some raw umber back over the wash I just did. Now I've added some sepia lines into it. If you look at the image, there are quite a few black hairs in it. On the video here, it looks like there's quite a lot of gaps between the fur lines, but in reality, this mouse isn't a lot bigger than my thumb, so it's actually quite a small image. It's just obviously zoomed in on so it looks a lot bigger than it actually is. I think you can see from my fingers next to it how small it actually is. So in reality the lines all look really close together. I do later on actually add some white in lines into this. Um, for some reason, well, well, I know why, my camera cut out at that point, so that didn't actually get filmed. The other thing you may notice that didn't get filmed, again, my camera cut out, unfortunately, is the, where I added the rose madder to the stalk and put the little thorns in. But that was rose madder, and I also put a bit more darker green in it using a mix of red in hue and sap green onto places on the stalk to give a bit more depth tone to it. She decided at this point that foot was a bit too dark so I've just lifted some of the paint off. If you make any mistakes you can easily lift it off with a bit of water and tissue. Get your arm. Just putting a bit of sepia on to add some grey to the edges of the fur where the white is. And that's pretty much it, I think. Oh no, I'm just doing a quick wash of diluted sepia over the berries just to blend them together a bit more. Well, just give them overall effect. And a little bit of white. The other thing I've just added to you, you'll notice is the whiskers suddenly appeared. Again, that's a camera error. I used sepia for the whiskers and there's the finished painting. Thank you for watching. As I said, if you enjoyed the video, please like because it does help me and consider subscribing. You can find me at pacarafarts.co.uk and here are the PDFs if you wish to screenshot them or likewise, please go to my Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching.